Okay, we know Russia is on high alert. And out of all the days to hold a drill, Russia decided to do it on the day the Twin Towers fell, 9-11. The active phase of the Russian army's largest ever military exercise is going to take place. It's called Vostok 2018 and will be held on September the 11th till 17th. Concerned NATO has been told they can monitor if they want to. Uh, maybe a symbolism as in the fall of America. But Russia and China to do drills called Vostok starting today. Now they're engaging uh, 300,000 troops. China sending over 30,000 troops. It don't sound good whatsoever. You got uh, NATO on high alert. You got um, them supposed to be drilling for a week or two. You know, and it sounds and looks very fishy. And the reason why I say that is because, uh, like I said, no one sends that many troops. The exercise will be the largest ever in the history of modern Russia. Taking part in it will be about 300,000 troops, more than 1,000 planes, helicopters and drones, up to 80 combat and logistic ships, and up to 36,000 tanks, armored personnel carriers, and other vehicles. And then you practice it, and it looks like you're trying to do a first strike that's what it looks like okay the Gentiles have reached the end we know that and so this is the time of the Gentiles the Gentiles are being judged already in the valley of Jehoshaphat so we know they're over there in Idlib and Damascus fighting in Syria around in that, that area where God said Megiddo was about to jump off which is Armageddon so it don't look good whatsoever and so now the Bible also matches up in uh, the book of Ezekiel where it states um, and thou shalt come from thy place out of the north parts thou and many people with thee it's coming from the north a lot of people it's matching up man you know what I mean And I'm pretty sure it ain't going to be some obvious move. Uh, We're we going to bring our whole army from the north and we're going to uh, do war with the United States. It ain't going to be something that somebody openly says. It's going to be some sneaky move like what's going on right now. All of them riding on horses which means tanks, planes, and things like that of the day. And a great company and a mighty army. So the mighty army is there. And then you got Trump and you got Putin. You know, America and Russia. And Daniel 11 says, it's a Daniel 11, 27. And both these kings' hearts shall be to do mischief. So both of them is up to no good. And they shall speak lies at one table. But it shall not prosper. But yet the end shall be at the time appointed. Which is the time of the Gentiles, the day of the Lord. You know, and, and all of it is close right now. The Russian ministry has said that the involvement is meant to strengthen cooperation between the two armed forces and improve their ability to deal jointly with security threats, especially in the Middle East. What's interesting about this exercise is Russia doesn't want to irritate America too much. Therefore, Putin has chosen to conduct this exercise in the Far East. But Moscow knows how to play its cards right. Moscow continues to see the United States and its allies as its major strategic foe and without offending the United States and its NATO rats it's going to show what a real military exercise looks like to Japan a close ally of Washington this could spell trouble between Russia and Japan or bring them closer which means America may be losing another friend Daniel 11 13 for the king of the north shall return and shall set forth a multitude greater than the former and shall certainly come after certain years with the great army so if you didn't know like four years prior like in 2014 America did a show of force with 300,000 soldiers you know and then Russia is doing a greater show of force at this time if you didn't know that 
Daniel 11:25, and he shall stir up his power and his courage against the king of the south. Okay, king of the south to me 100% means America, and basically Obama supposedly started uh, uh, fighting uh, doing this war in Syria uh, so many years ago, and Obama we know is the king of the south. So they are all together. It's still America. You know, so whether Donald Trump is from the South or not, it, do, it doesn't matter. It's who started the fight and where were they from. And it says, um, With a great army and the king of the South shall be stirred up to battle with a very great and mighty army. And then we got Joel 3, 14. Multitudes and multitudes in the valley of decision. For the day of the Lord is near in the valley of decision. So, they're in the valley of decision. This big, huge war is going to start. They end the Mediterranean. They all is overly extending themselves because something as big is about to jump off this war. And it looks like Russia is trying to practice and get in position to strike hard and fast. The him and China, you know. And who who else knows who? It could be Iran with them. It could be Turkey. You never know who's all with them. But America is finna get. The, it's ass handed to it, you know. And uh, y'all tell me what y'all think in the comments, rap news.